Hey, this is Joe with Personas. Have you checked out AutoZoom yet? It's a new feature as of version 6.2, which just released. But check this out, because it's kind of like a subset of the cool things that AutoZoom can do that I didn't know about until Arndt with the team in Germany told me. So AutoZoom is this new button right here. And if you right click on it, you can tell it to be full, which is what I prefer, or horizontal or vertical. So that means that when you have this engaged, which I've got it mapped to the letter Z on my keyboard, that turns it on, toggles it on and off. When I turn that on, then if there are any, if there are any regions, like say right there, there is, an, there is an event here on this vocal track. And if I press Z, Studio One will automatically zoom to whatever is on the screen. So if there's one, if there were a bunch, if it was really big, really small, it would take that into account and zoom to it. So that's auto zoom. And it can do it both vertically and horizontally, which you just saw, or just one or the other. What I didn't realize, and you may not have either, is there's different auto zoom states for this main arranger window and also the edit window. Now, edit window is one of those things I don't use a ton, but this is making me want to think about it more. How do you get to the edit window? It's this button down here that says edit, or you can press F2 on the keyboard. And it's this thing down here. So it looks very similar, but it's dedicated to a single track. So if you had like all the tracks visible up front and you want to look in and really hone in and edit a specific track, this is what would open up. If you double clicked on an event, this would open up as well. But what you might notice is there is an auto zoom button here as well. Now here it, it toggles to just being horizontal because it kind of is already automatically zoomed because only one track fills up this editor. So when I toggle Z, when this is selected, um, it will snap to whatever is on that particular track. So that can be helpful if you're looking at a big session that has big, long, like vocal track, right? But then maybe has just these little chunks of guitars and you want to quickly just focus in on those and maybe you don't want to zoom in the entire you know what let's do that real quick okay so here's a typical song of mine i've got some tracks that extend the entire song like this bass track but then i've got some that are just like these little background vocals over here so i can select that but if i press z right now right it just zooms to everything on the screen so if i wanted to just see this for a second i could zoom to selection which is which would work okay. So I could hold down, what is it? Shift and Option or Alt on the PC, creates this little magnifying glass and I can zoom to that. That's pretty cool. And then I hit Z to take me back out. So Z is my, let's zoom out and have everything equally visible on the screen. So that's interesting, but this whole edit window thing is also interesting. So one thing you can do is just double click on what you see there and it will pull it up. Um, but what's even more interesting is if we set this to auto zoom on, but just in this window, now I can have this top window zoomed however I want. And if there's something I want to look at in the editor a little more closely, I just have to select it and check it out. Studio one automatically zooms to whatever the size of that particular event is. So this little base edit here, it zooms to that whole thing. Now, if auto zoom is off, what does it do? It doesn't do that. See, when I click on this, it's showing me the very beginning of that file. So it see how it begins here at 15, measure 15? That's where this particular recording began. So in the normal mode, that's been the way this works up to now. If I clicked on, if I zoomed in here and clicked on, say I wanted to see the end of this, if I clicked on it, it's just going to show me the beginning. And then I have to scroll over again. So they weren't super connected. But now, if you just leave this auto zoom on in the edit window, you can come in here and find those little blips and pieces of audio, like let's say this little one right here, and it'll show me the whole thing. Or this one. It shows me the whole thing, and it automatically adjusts for me. That's really cool. I could see this becoming part of my workflow, because now it's, it's just a single click, and I'm seeing it down here. So what would that look like? I could say this hammer lead needed to come down in this section. Or maybe I decided after thinking about it, you know what? It needs to fade out a little more slowly. So maybe I would open up in the editor and I could do something like this. And I could come in and do really specific edits or maybe I go and turn on the gain envelope and I say, you know what, the gain envelope needs to do something like this. So I can see something like that where it goes real big and then goes quieter. That would sound terrible, but you get the idea. I didn't have to change what I'm looking at up here, but it does change what I see here. Now, it gets even funner, which is, I don't think, a word, uh, because we can obviously resize this window, but we can also, and I'd literally never do this, we can pop it out. So this little arrow here, right next to right next to the uh, X for this 
editor window. If we click on that, it will detach this editor, and it still maintains all the same features, but now we can make it maybe the size we want. Maybe it doesn't need to be full width. We want it to be kind of like this, and then check it out. Auto zoom still enabled, and I can select things, and now they will show up in this kind of, it's almost like a zoomed in view of whatever I want. So I could auto zoom over here in the big session. Then I could say, what's going on with this crazy little vocal right here? And it pops up right here. So this could obviously be on another screen if you have it. I've got this big ultra wide screen, so I could literally have the editor on the right two thirds of the screen, and then have the rest of the normal Studio One session on the left side, um, and that could be really interesting. So uh, go try this because it's a really it's I think not to not to be dismissive of previous versions of Studio One, but I personally just haven't had much of a use for the edit window. But this makes it a lot more interesting. Hold on, I don't, I don't I totally forgot to show you the thing I actually wanted to show you. So this the detached editor window is cool, but then check out what you can do with this. Let me go back over to that original. I literally finished the video without doing what I wanted to show you. Let's go to the audio autos. Nope, not that one. Um, it's the other song we have open. What is it? This one. So I've got a get back over here. So I've got this song here, which is just an empty session with a vocal track. When I select the vocal and open up the editor, and we can I'm not going to make it small here because it's just the only track in the session. Um, but we can do this. Check out what happens when I start recording. So auto zoom is enabled in the bottom session. I'll have it disabled in the top. So the editor has auto zoom enabled. And as soon as I start recording on this microphone, check it out. At first it looks a little blinky blinky, but look at it. It will literally keep all the audio waveform inside that editor forever. Uh, which is super cool, especially for the first like two minutes of it. By the time it gets fairly long, it stops shrinking as much, right? Because it's not taking up as much space. But um, and you can do it like this. You can resize it. Uh, it is just to me that's just really fun. If nothing else, that could look really cool for a video that you're shooting of yourself in the studio recording something. Instead of it just scrolling across the screen like that, you see it like literally like squishing and getting bigger. Um, if you have clients over, this can look really neat on a separate screen. Like while they're recording, put this on another screen that's closer to them, and they can see themselves, see the waveform moving as they go. Anyway, that kind of stuff to me is really fun. That's what I wanted to show you. That's less practical than the other stuff I showed you, but still, it's kind of neat. Go check it. Out. If you don't have version 6.2 yet, if you own version 6, 6.2 is a free upgrade. Or if you're a Studio One Plus member, you get all the upgrades always for free forever. So go upgrade, check this out, let me know what you think.